Shit, we live? Man, you already know we live. What's poppin' with y'all, man? It's your boy, JG. And you already know it's Jay Jonah. And we over here chilling, grooving, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm sipping on this wine, trying to you know, do it I differently. I see that. You sipping early, JG. Doing, doing it a little bit differently. But we starting <laughs> off into uh, season five, episode four. Episode four, baby. We back, bro. Shout, shout out to all our listeners. You know what I'm saying? All y'all out there. We appreciate y'all. Let yes, me say that and, first and foremost. And our new listeners tuning in, please make sure you go follow, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it's a little disrespectful, man. We we're t- kind of taking it personal, but you know, we keep the ball rolling and we don't even give a fuck about y'all needs to be it's honest. It's all right. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They'll learn later, but it's all right. Go ahead and subscribe and get the notifications too if y'all ain't got those yet. Some people that we get, you know what I'm saying? When, when people do subscribe and they do little things, we get little memos. We should actually start re- reaching out to the folks. That would be dope. Like, hey, man, we appreciate that. This and the third. That would, that would be like, man, how'd they, how they know I did that? Like, bro, we see everything. We see, we see, <laughs> we everything. see it all. Shit, JG, what we drinking on today, bro? Like you said, you you already sipping like you was enjoying Woo. your shit. What so, you so, so, so I came through with some, in my opinion, that's like a little bit different. This shit's old as shit. This is a 20, this is, this is, this is <laughs> old a, as shit. Old as shit. This shit is a 2010, y'all. Like we in 20, uh, oh shit, we in 2021. Goddamn. 11 years later. 11 years later, I said, let me open this bitch. I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong thing to do. Like, maybe, are you, like, it's almost disrespectful to open something that's 11 years old. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I mean, I think the most expensive wines are the oldest, and I think people have pleasures in taking, popping those bottles open. This is true. You know what I'm saying? Well, I went and caught me one, well, not caught me one. I went and went through the old school pantry at the crib. (laughs) Went and grabbed and knocked the dust off this motherfucker. (laughs) And I said, hey, let's try out the motherfucking trilogy. Uh, Lost. Meg Maganinos uh red Maganinos. yeah Mag Mag Megan Maganinos M E G A N O S shout out to my uh, Latin community if y'all can help me out man I don't even know but that's what I went and caught you feel me it's from it's from Brentwood y'all Brentwood California out here near us not the one in L A type shit and then um. <laughs> I don't even know what the percentage is, but I ain't gonna cap this shit is starting to get me like I'm starting to feel it no cap uh, if the when they first. Literally, the first sip reminded me of the first time I've ever drank wine. Super tart. Tart as hell. Super tart. But after a couple sips, you know, the toothpaste got, kind of goes away. You know, like that first time taking a drink. Yep. No. Nope. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> no. I mean, what? <laughs> no. Go ahead, though. Basically, after the, la- the last couple sips, or after the first couple sips, that shit was damn near going down like water. Hmm. I love that shit. This one is nice, but you got you got some exotic in my opinion. What you got? I got some 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 nineteen crimes, bro. The nineteen crimes. The nineteen crimes. I gotta shout out the big homie Snoop. We're drinking the red blend today. I right, bro, when I found out he had his shit, I was juiced. I had no idea he had a one. Nineteen crimes though. 19 I know murder crimes. was the case that he beat, but like I didn't know he had nineteen <laughs> crimes that he beat. Really Damn, that's crazy. crazy. Uh, back in twenty nineteen. That's what I'm saying. These are old, bro. I don't know. How do we? We've been connoisseurs for a couple of years, no, a year and a half now. How the fuck do we not know Snoop had a one? Since 2018, huh? 2019. Oh, 2019. This bottle it could be 2018, but this one's 14.1%. Uh, uh, where is this out of? This is out of Sonoma, California, bro. Oh, Homie he went got that. Is in Sonoma. Damn, Snoop. Uh-huh. I didn't even know Snoop really be sipping on the vino, bro. That's yeah. dope. And shit got, he got his face on it. Y'all can't miss it in the stores. No, you cannot. I 19 can't wait to, crimes. Can't wait to dip into that one. I feel like it's definitely a meaning behind that motherfucker. I'm going to figure that shit out, though, yeah, for sure. We got to fucking ask him. Why not? That's Snoop. <laughs> hey. Yeah. No, Why that... not, Snoop? We could get you on a motherfucking pod. What you smoking on today? I was just about to ask you. I got to spark up, bro, because I got some gas. And I got to shout out Permanent Holiday again. I had to put my motherfucking sample cookies How to the you side. you still got them? I had to put it to the side. So I want everybody to know, like, nigga, I'm smoking on that shit. Uh, I got a little bit of some other shit up in here, too. But I got majority of my motherfucking Permanent Holiday cookies. Shout bro. out Permanent Holiday, man. They bless this true gas. Shout out to my spliff being true glad. Oh, shit. True gas. Yes. God damn. Glass in there, bro. No, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My last name, I almost, I almost threw that shit out there right now, too. I'm off the blue slush by Seven Leaves. Bro, when I, I, I've been sleep off Seven Leaves. They were based, I think they're based out of Sacramento somewhere. I've seen them a couple times up in PAX out here in Stockton, but I know they were heavy out there in Sac. Yep. Bro, had a bunch of different flavors. Shorty in there was like, you know, I think uh, you might like the blue slush. I told her what I like. I like the color. I like the smell. I like the, you feel me, the breakdown. I need it all. And she was like, I think you'll fuck with the blue slush. 
She was right. She was right. She was right. I'm not going to lie. Blue slush go crazy. What's the y'all, percentage? Y'all see that in there. Make sure y'all go cop the blue slush from Seven Leaves. Total THC percentage is only 22%. That's why you don't go buy percentages. Oh, wow. And that's not a high percentage for those that don't know about weed like that. Yep. But at the end of the day, it, uh, that's why I get mad going into clubs when they tell me, oh, this is this percent and this is that percent. Like, no. Percentage does not matter on weed. It's about your own liking, what you what you feel in it, and how you how you appreciate your weed. You this know is true. Saying? I can have the most potent forbidden fruit, and I'm not going to like it because I don't like fruity tasting weed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It could be tested at forty percent, and you still won't like it. It'll get you probably high, but, but not your type of high. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's the truth. Shit, JG. How was your week, bro? It's been a, a hectic week this week. I don't know if you've seen. What's, How's yours been? We'll talk about it. It's been cool. I ain't gonna lie. Just been moving and grooving throughout the week, trying to make sure I keep my fucking head above the water. You feel me? It's been crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? But it's everything dope. been everything been solid on my end, bro. That's good to hear, bro. Because no, I mean, I think how everything. It's so weird how shit comes about because we just talked about Bitcoin and all this shit going on. But I don't know if you heard this week about the whole GameStop, AMC, all that shit. Did I going on this week, bro? Fucking Wall Street's having a run for their fucking money. By the people. Yep. By the people. By the fucking people. By some gaming nerds at, at that to start it off. Shout out to Reddit. Shout out to Reddit. But I don't know if you know all that too much about it, JG. I mean, we could kind of give a little breakdown for the people that don't know. Yep. And uh, kind of don't even understand it. I guess I can dumb it down for you in a way because I had to get dumbed down too. I'm not going to lie because it was just too much like short squeezes, all this, that. Like, what the fuck is all that? You know what I mean? Yeah. So basically... What happened? It started with GameStop, a hedge fund company such as I think of the Wolf of Wall Street when I do that, right? The hedge fund company who who is who's head honchos of the Wall Street market, literally a guy of the hedge fund company who has a following, say Blowing Smoke podcast, said, "Hey guys, we're gonna we're gonna sque- uh we're gonna short this, we're gonna short this stock, meaning we're gonna we're gonna bet that it's gonna go down." Yep. And he has a following to influence them to necessarily short the stock, which the stock was getting shorted. But at the end of the day, bro, think about GameStop in a time like Corona. We don't need it. No. We didn't need GameStop. GameStop was going out the fucking, uh, going down the toilet already, going down the drain type shit. Yeah. You think about it. Everybody buys games via PS4 and or PS5 and Xbox. Now. They're not going to They're GameStop. They're not going to GameStop and buying games no more. Got you. So they're already going in the toilet. This was crazy to me. Because now we're going to get to the Reddit situation. The gaming nerds didn't like that shit, bro. They didn't like that this hedge fund was over here saying that we're going to tank. We're going to make sure that this shit tanks. Yeah. So you know what they did? They short squeezed them, quote unquote, is what it's called. They bet against it. They put to make it go up. Really? The stock go up. And the gaming nerds got all together, got it out there. And now the hedge fund is fucked up now because now they're losing money while all these other people are making money because the stock is going up when in, in reality, he he bet it to go down. Oh. Right? Right? Oh. Why this is such a big deal. Holy shit. And it's really kind of su- like it's, it just shows how much we're controlled, bro, to be honest, because the motherfucking... Wall Street in general has been doing this to each other and us per se for the longest already, JG. We've seen it in Wolf of Wall Street already. Like when they shorted things, like they have insider trading. This is known. Yeah. But because the people did it to someone so big, like a, a, a hedge fund, like whoever it was, I can't recall exactly what who it was. Yep. I hear you. They want to start regulating the um how the much people stock can, market. Exactly. Which is wrong, JG. What the fuck, bro? How much control do you guys really need, bro? They already were... What do you mean start regulating now? You know what I mean? If they were, they literally were controlling it back then already. Yeah. It's insane, JG. It's no, insane. I'd agree. And th- thank you for that, because I really didn't even know how that... You know what I'm saying? That background on that. I'm not going to cap. No, yeah, bro. It's it's just... it. They're really pissed off, and they want to start doing it because the people took advantage of them. When they take advantage of us, they take advantage of each other all the time. They make money off us. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're calling for uh, regulators and people and the people who are up there and that 1% calling for that, they are already knowing, like, fuck. They know we're going to take advantage of them. You know what I mean? And, and that, that's 
sad. That is sad. And it's fucked up that once the people started to get in some type of positive position, the, you know, them higher ups, they started to look like, oh, wow. Like, OK, you know, this ain't cool. Then they, they, they now they're comparable to us and they started to shut it down, which is kind of fucked up, in my opinion. It should. And then I don't know. You could, we, we've been in it. I said, but bro, I can't even try to buy GameStop, AMC, none of that shit right now. No. You, you can can't. only sell it. If you have it, you can only sell it. You cannot buy it. Even Dogecoin, too. I forgot to throw that out there for the people that still want to actually jump into the market. I mean, oh, look yep. into it. But Dogecoin, AMC, GameStop. Dogecoin was a big this week. Dogecoin hit big. I know some people hit big in Dogecoin this week. Fact. Oh, but Bitcoin was actually going up today, uh, this week, too. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. People took that money that they win and they put it into Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure, too. But it's scary, bro. Like, do we even want to keep putting our money in the stock market now? Like, they, they're, they're, they're telling us that there's a cap to us doing this. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Type shit. Yeah. Like, why would I put my money in there now knowing that that's going to happen? True. No, I hear you with that. But like, then, like, it's not a fair chance no more, JG. They, they're killing us, bro. When it comes to, but no. They, they see the card before we do. They do. They yeah, see it. Of course. But they, but the, the sad thing is they already were, but now they're just trying to make it known that, that that's going to be happening. That's what's fucked up about it is like, you know, like, you know, think about it. In 20, 2016, stocks wasn't like how they is now. Not everybody was having Robinhood app, Coinbase app, and fucking Cash app app that has stock availability right there at their at they fingertips. Not everybody was thinking like that. Now you got fucking damn near 60, 40, 50, 40% of America, damn near the world. Who's really interested in this stock market? Back in the day, bro, it was just a certain market. They used to look at the people at Wall Street like a wolf, like them motherfuckers out, them them criminals up there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So like certain people wasn't even dipping into that. It's just crazy that now once we start to see like, okay, yeah, 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 let me get it. Oh wow, I'm actually, let's say I'm making ten dollars. Fuck, and I'm making a hundred dollars. Fuck, and I'm making five hundred. Whatever you making in positive currency, just from you making it from your your fingertips. Like that's yep. a trip to me. That once people start to jump onto that, the world. Of those higher ups, they'll definitely come and try to shut it down. I don't, but but I don't people got to what's gonna happen, JG. But people got to realize that it's always you know what I'm saying you can't call the flaw before a flaw happens. But right now the flaw is like okay, we found that silver lining, which is okay, buy the dip when it whether it be dip Bitcoin, whether it be uh, 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 AMC, whether it be GameStop or Dogecoin, buy the dip. But you know what I'm saying? No, I think what added to it to add to what you're saying is we 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 have influence now. People have followers now if someone thinks a certain way and they have a good following like, that cares or, or appreciates what that person says they're gonna go do what they do this is true you know what i mean so it's like with the, with the stock market they they're they're trying to limit that but it's like dude what do you mean at the end of the day y'all have been doing this true yeah you know what i'm saying oh yeah but because now the people have have control now now you're mad about it yep because of the head funds uh, the head motherfuckers don't don't know more and that's how now they got we're, to now we're position. all on the same playing field let's play right play ball baby that's how why they got to regulate shit now that's how they got to their position bro that is a trip Cause they didn't think it was gonna come through and influence others, bro. They just wanted them to help help themselves and their families. I think that's crazy. Are we getting older? Or is times changing more? Both. Or you know what I mean? For the simple fact of like, we're talking about stocks. We're doing stuff like we're putting in the stocks. Talking about Bitcoin. Every, things like that. We getting older, bro. Or times changing? I feel like times changing. Okay. I mean, like for me personally, bro. I feel like honestly, like could you see? Actually, you know what? Let me see real quick. Let me just. I'm gonna tap into my little note real quick, bro. With the way technology is going, bro, could you see cable becoming obsolete in the future? Cable becoming obsolete in the future. I mean, it's so crazy to say. I mean, where it came from, bro, I don't know. I mean, I would say yes, obviously, because streaming is going crazy right now. And I feel like it's the, it's the save money way, in my opinion. But I don't know, bro. I mean, if they, they need to switch something up. You know what I mean? Well, let's ask. Do you, do you have cable right now? I do have cable. You That's do. what I'm saying. Like all channels or basic cable, like the one to three. No, I have fucking hella channels. That's what I'm saying. I pay for fucking hella fucking channels. So okay. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I was gonna say because I don't, guys. I'm not gonna care. I don't have no cable. I had the basic cable for a minute, but what I pay at Xfinity is outrageous to me for just high speed internet and basic cable at that time. And even now, my dollar amount isn't that much different from taking cable away and getting this new smart box that it, that makes me stream all of the the Prime videos, Netflix, and all that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But so I just, bro, my thing is with that was like, bro, I don't need cable to. I don't need to go watch my TV show at four thirty every day. I'll just watch whatever I can when I can sit down. Ah. You know what I'm saying? So that was my. I mean, keep going. How important is watching TV to you on a regular basis? 
For me personally, I got to watch TV all the time, bro. Like, I watch TV to ease my mind. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's what I do. Like, even if it's a TV show, I watch reruns a lot. You know what I'm saying? Wayne Bros, Martin, What's Happening, Good Times. Nigga, okay. I watch a lot of the classics a lot. Fresh Prince. Like, I watch that shit all the time. Like, I watch... I watched the same episodes of that. You like that TVA sign the last week with Jiggy? What? No, the Fresh Prince one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that one kind of threw me off. I'm not going to lie. Bro, I've been binge watching the fuck out of it, bro. That's all I've been watching from season one, episode one, bro. And I'm literally on like season three now. I'm, I'm trying to get back all the way up. I'm wondering, I've just, I was like, bro, I was a, a baby. I wasn't even born yet when that show came out. You haven't watched all the Fresh Prince? I mean... Not as an adult, looking back at what it is now, you know what I'm saying? Because I can appreciate it now. I, I I had to argue with my my pops about this this week, bro. I rewatched Blood Diamond this week. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie. Why do you not know? I've, of course I've seen okay. Blood Diamond. But I we're, rewatched we're it, and I have saw and caught so many different things that I didn't see the first time I did. Like, so like, so that, that's what I mean. Like going back and watching The Fresh Prince, bro. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally listening to the lessons being taught per episode, appreciating it more than I did back then when I was a kid watching that shit. You know what I mean? Got you. Cause I'm not, I don't, I'm not putting all that, the little subliminals together that they're saying, the little disses, the, ah, oh, that was funny type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's just cool to go back and watch. No, I got a few of those too. Like Law by the Citizen is like a movie I could watch like over and over again. I don't know what the fuck it is about it, but I could watch that shit over That's and over That's a great fucking again. movie. Damn near, like you said, any Will Smith movie I could watch. Oh, and Denzel. Well, have have you have you have you done that personally? Like where you watch the movie and then you watch it a show or a movie again, and you're like, damn, I didn't, I don't remember that part. Oh yeah, like in Friday, like bro, you ever watch <laughs> Friday? Right, yeah. Like the first one, and then pops in the bathroom, and then you nigga when he's on the bathroom with Craig and Craig covering his nose, bro. Do y'all hear them fucking the drops of the turd hitting the fucking hitting the toilet? Oh, yeah, nigga, I, I didn't hear that type it. of shit until like my fifth time watching it, bro. And it's hella shit in fr- fucking Friday. Like, I'll watch that shit. I'm like, bro, this nigga really. Da, 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 da. But yeah, and I've been watching Friday that, since. But Pops is the type, but he'll watch it once and never watch it again. Like I, I when I tell him like what I'm watching right now, he's like, are you, are you serious? Like, no, go back and watch it, fool. Like I'm telling you, like this shit will change your life. You might appreciate it more. See, but that's so. Now you're talking about movies though. Those are pretty much hard copies. Like I mean, you well, not really hard copies. You can still go on your TV. I don't know too much about a stream because you can't just go on YouTube and stream any movie you want. You can't even go on uh, uh, Netflix. So you really need cable to probably watch those type of movies. Kinda. Well, th- I think it was more leaning more towards the. The French Pits of Bel Air is now because I remember back then, right? You would have to you'd have to be up at a certain time or watch it at that time for the the new the new episode of French Pits because it it only came out once a week type shit, right? Yeah, in the nineties. So, yeah, so it would you'd have to be up at that time, have the TV on at that time on that channel, or else you're missing that episode. True. You know what I mean? True. And I think people definitely did rush home to get home to go watch it yeah, at seven or whatever time. And it was. I, th- I think with movies, you were able to, you know, what I'm saying, have that leniency to be like, all right, I'm gonna go to Blockbuster. You, feel, you remember Blockbuster and Hollywood video? Bro, remember when that shit got shut down? Like, oh I was looking at that goodness. like, bro, what the fuck is going on, man? The like, one they, over there on uh, Pershing is still damn near up. <laughs> it's still up. And it's, and it's ne- nobody's ever bought it. Like, damn, like, it used to be the Blockbuster. Nobody ever came through and bought it. That's a good property to have. I don't know why not. Remember when Netflix used to just be like the CD disc? Now Netflix wow. is like an app, bro. I'm glad you brought that up, bro. Like, my mom used to... I used to live in apartments back in the day before we got our house built and fucking... My mom would always get Netflix delivered. Like every week, it'd be like three CDs or whatever. You have to pay extra if you wanted like four. Pops and then, too. you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to, Pops, bro, I remember he used to ask me, I would have one, like, be able to have the choice of one video in the in the three or whatever it was. See? And then he'd be like, which one do you want? I'd go online and try to find it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do they that. They have one. one for games too, like, yeah. Yeah, like PlayStation games. It's like, like oh, Redbox now was the old Netflix. Red, yeah, Redbox was the, oh, yeah. yeah that weird, is true. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Nah, but damn, going, Redbox went and found a market out of something that already was existing, and they did numbers. That's wild. Going back to cable TV, bro. Like, what was your favorite? What well, what were your favorite channels back in the day? I know you remember, bro. Please tell me you do. Nickelodeon. Okay, what channel? Fifty three at that time. Ah, there we go. I think go it's fifty three, yeah, right? Nick, yeah, Nickelodeon 53, was 53. Dis, Dis, Disney Channel's fifty four. Yep. And yep. BT was forty three. And I was like, I'm on that motherfucker yep. all the time. Forty four was MTV. I didn't even watch cartoon. I didn't. I did. I cartoon did not Network. watch cartoon. It was fifty two. Fifty two. Yeah, yeah so I but saying. I didn't watch Cartoon Network as a kid, bro. Because oh, it would go to. Oh, watch TV next door. You went on that. 
Uh, it ain't Eddie type. Yeah, Cody. Yeah, yeah. It ain't Eddie. I just didn't like Adult Swim back in the day. The little meatball with the fry and the shake. Them that motherfucker used to scare me back in the day. What's t- uh, Aqu- Aqu- Teen Hunger Force? You ever seen that? Dude, it sounds familiar. I don't know. With the right. meatball and the fucking shake and the French fry. I think I know what you're talking about. Bro, Being them shit used to scare the um, shit out of me as a kid. Courage the Cowardly Dog. That nigga used to scare the shit. That was on Cartoon <laughs> Network. That <laughs> oh, shit used to scare the shit out of me, bro. Yeah. Man. But. Yeah, as a kid, you ain't watching Courage the Cowardly, Cowardly Dog after 9 o'clock. Oh, no, it's hot. Mm-mm. I but, ain't doing that. Mine's similar. I remember I'd always used to wait up or be up at that Teen Nick and George Lopez. Fucking, George Lopez. The fucking 50, Channel 53. Um, George Lopez, fucking Zach, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. I'll say I watch that shit, fucking Disney Channel type shit. Yep, Brenda Song and all them. Yep. Um, my dude Ben is actually writing a movie right now, and he's trying to reach out to. Oh, he's actually reaching out to Brenda Song. It's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying, shout, shout out, out ben. ben. Can't wait on that. <laughs> we look, out he's, ben. He just writing a script right now. He said he wants me to read. He says 120 pages. I said, Yeah, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. But 120 <laughs> pages. I'm like, God damn. But go ahead. Nah. Um. No. Nah, basically, yeah, but. We brought up the Netflix shit and how it used to be CDs, but when did you realize streaming was damn near taking over? Like, like when realized I, it, like you feel me, like damn, like two years ago. To be honest with you, okay, I'm be honest with you, like when like, you know what I'm saying we be with my partners. You ain't, go look at them on YouTube streaming. Go 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 look at that. Go do, like you talking about like that. Kinda. Uh, well, I mean, I was way before that then. JG. Oh, well then okay. Well, if then, we're then, talking about YouTube as well. I'm talking about like from cable to Netflix now. When did you realize that was the Oh, then still, yeah, two years, yeah, two within years. like the last two years. Okay. It's like, bro, because like everybody I go to, that, that even if they do have cable, they still have all these other fucking Hulu, uh, Disney Plus, fucking Netflix. They still have all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, <laughs> so then like me, I still got it too, but like I still watch. I, bro, like I said, I watch the same shows all the time. Like literally, like. See, but that's the thing. Like from like uh, that's why I kind of asked you how I didn't even answer that. For me, how important. Like TV was watching on a on a daily basis because for me, bro, like I'll I'll sit down and I'll rewatch them. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to watch n- nothing new on cable that's going on. And I'll save that couple of dollars. I don't need all them fucking channels. I'll I'll rather fucking get the Hulu's, the the Disney Pluses, the Netflix, Prime Video, HBO Max, and all that. Calculate and add up less to what fucking I'm paying for. Wi-Fi, cable, and that on top of that. You That's know what it I mean? Does it uh, add up less? So, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So I get all my channels and bullshit ass Wi-Fi through uh direct TV and ATT, whatever the fuck it is. Okay. I pay two forty. I think that might be my problem. What the fuck? Two forty for all the tripping. fucking channels I and, think uh, and Wi-Fi. No, no nothing else. It's cheaper. <laughs> really? It's cheaper. Like, I, I would say so. Yeah. I mean, it, it's cutting it close, but it's it's just that extra extra 50 or whatever it may be. But it's it's still underneath the two, I think. It's underneath the two? Yeah, right there. For it, all, for, is it over a hundred in is it over a hundred dollars for cable? I mean for Wi Fi and whatever. Oh whatever yeah, oh yeah. Well, all like all I have is wi- a high speed internet, bro. It's 120 bucks. For for high speed internet. Yes. And and that little box they provide now to to stream the apps, like you know what I'm saying. Instead of me having PS4 and I have all my apps on my P- PS4, yeah, Xfinity gave me a box that Just, has that that has all the apps that you yeah. need. And you can download them. All yeah. right, bet. Okay, but so one twenty, and then you still got to pay the monthly fee for ten dollars on Netflix, of uh, ten dollars on yeah, Disney Plus. Exactly, less than your two fifty though. But when you start to look at it, I'm like, okay, well, fuck it, bro. I might as well just have cable because, like. Bro, you're all, you're you're up. You're pretty much at one seventy. You're right, but what do I get out of cable? The games. You're you're fucking yeah. right, bro. Because TNT, any I time, any, NBA, any time basketball season, anywhere near the playoffs, I cannot fucking watch, bro. Mm. I have to watch it on. Oh, should we do this right now? I really don't want to, bro, because I don't want people to fucking get on our shit. But they already are on it. But streamies. Crack streams, all that shit for the sports games. You know what I mean? I have to go and do that shit instead of watching it on an HD channel like TNT. Okay. Which it already is on. You know what I mean? So if you had to choose with that being your thing, would you rather have the pay-per-view or would you rather have the crack stream streamies? Because you're lacking. That, that's, I mean, that's the only thing you're missing. You have to always find a way to go watch your sports. Pay-per-view, boxing, even all that type of shit. It's still sports. Would you rather do the pay-per-view or would you I mean, rather always do the, the streams? I mean, it's just, 
the HD in the pay per view, bro, is one hundred percent. But I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. I'll be streaming the shit out of this shit. I don't. I'm not gonna pay the dudes like that. That's fucking eighty dollars for one fight, bro. But, and but then, then it lags out. You know what I'm saying? It does lag out. Like, you know, like I said, I, the HD and all that shit in the pay per view, bro. I need it like one hundred percent. I said, but have I been paying these motherfuckers? Fuck no. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like shit. No. At the end of the day, though, I'd rather have my cat in the corner of crack streams, like doop, doop, doop. Bruh, doop, I'm doop. like, yeah, that motherfucker really <laughs> there vibing out too. Yeah, I seen that shit. I'd rather, for me personally, like the more and more I get older, fuck the bullshit, bro. I'd rather get a pot. You know what I'm saying? If y'all really trying to come through, give me $20 or whatever like that. Everybody come through, we'll have the straight pay per view, no problem type thing. Say that. I'll take care of the food. But then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me personally, bro, I don't, haven't done it. No, we haven't. I ain't got no. <laughs> bro, I'm still going through a transition of home right now. Like I'm still trying to find my way in this house, bro. It still don't make no way. Like I, you know, what I'm saying I'm trying to maneuver. That's but right. like when that day do come, bro, like this is definitely gonna be like that. Like everybody come through, just drop the twenty dollar pot. Everything else taken care of, and then we good. That way we can always have we just have a straight good night. You feel me? I was always I used to always go to my partner's house back in the day, and he would always have the boxing, the fights. Everybody, family be there. I love how you said straight good night because, bro. You never know with the crack stream. Everybody come over, and then all of a sudden, you're not watching the fight. And everybody's like, I thought I was coming over to watch the fight. Man. And everybody, <laughs> yeah. You got people at your house, too, though. Like, that's, when, that's when it gets bad, man. Yeah, yeah. And then when there's nothing else on TV, you're like, all right, well, I'm going to just head out. Then it cut back on. Like, what the fuck? Like, nigga already didn't left and shit. So that's why I was like, I'd rather do the pay-per-view move, move, moving forward, even though I really haven't. I've only did it once for Floyd Mayweather at my, like, first apartment, some shit like that. And that was it. I actually bought Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's fight. Well, with that, with with it now, it's like ESPN Plus and all that shit. So you gotta have an account through that. On top of that, uh, it's a lot, bro. Yeah, a lot to it. But gotcha. Let's take it left, bro. You you still smoking? You already smoked your shit. Now I'm still smoking. At, you finna do TPH? T -t 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 TPH time. I think it's time. It's getting ready for the TPH time, everybody. You wanna spark up? All right, I'll wait till you go though. God damn. What gets you? I took an Advil PM. I ain't gonna lie, dude. What? No, I didn't like take one, but like, you know what I'm saying? I took a midday one. I'm still like. So, a midday one, a midday PM. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna let you guys know, bro. It's midday. It's hey, JG, why are hey, you taking Advil PMs in the midday? Shout out to those that do them other drugs, bro. Shout out to the, <laughs> shout out to the people that be doing the narcos. No, and the other no, 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 no. Fuck remember the pills. Nuff, fuck remember, the pills. Remember fuck Nuff the pills. said he said, I used to do the thin pills. I was like, the only thing I ever did was the fucking Advil. Uh, Advil. He's yeah. like, what kind? Extra strength? <laughs> nah, fuck the pills, bro. <laughs> Get off that shit, man. That's, that's. Is there a natural way to I get rid like of headaches? I feel like the doctor shouldn't even uh, subscribe you pills. What's the way to get rid of headaches? I don't know. That's my biggest reason why I take the pills. A, a fucking bong rip? Because I was going to say no tobacco with it. Really? I mean, I don't know. I ain't trying. Yeah. Better than pills. TPH time, bro. What gets you excited about life? Living in it. Living life, bro. That's what gets me excited about life. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are times, don't get me wrong, everybody be depressed, but it's like, man, like, at the end of the day, you're here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're here. Like, as cliche as it sounds, like, you're here. Hmm. It's times, like, I'm like, fuck, bro. I can, I'm, I'll am i be 110. There's been times when I had not a damn dollar in my fucking pocket. What I will, there's always ways to go make some money, but it's, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you take a life, take your life, take a soul, lose your soul, things like that, bro. Like, you, you, you ain't, you, you're not worth anything. You didn't even, you didn't even try. So, like, for me, person, like, this, you know. And go through life, enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Roll with those punches. Understand that bad times is going to be there. Fuck the bullshit. Like, I seen a quote. It's like, once people start to realize that the bad is going to happen and they realize, you know what I'm saying? Like, life is really just going to go on. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. motherfucker, understand or they don't. Motherfucker, like, get hurt and they get better. Motherfucker, like, this and the third. Deal with it right now. But realize, like, once you sleep and wake up, you appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? That what, what you went through yesterday. It's like, fuck. Like, I could not be here, but I am here. Let me try and maneuver differently. Like, shout out to my man, Tuck. My motherfucker, shout out, man. Shout out to my man, Tuck, bro. Shout out, Tuck. Tuck came through, bro. Like, motherfucker, rough rider, bro. Need, need to get the sponsor. He need the patch on his back. Riding willies, everything. Just chilling. Cool ass dude, though. Ride willies, ride his bike, normal, do everything. He lives his life how he wants to live on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Through that, there's still, trend, you know, things that you got to watch out for. He was riding his bike, and he actually got cut off by a car, and he actually lost his leg. He mm -hmm. lost his leg from the knee up. Mm. Shout out to my man, my man Tuck though. Like this, this motherfucker is cold, bro. To this day, as soon as he woke up from anesthesia out of surgery, man, I just can't wait to get back on my bike, y'all. I can't wait. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm get the robotic leg. I'm like everybody in the group, man. She's like, damn, Tuck. Like 
some people be somewhat depressed. Like, man, I lost. No, nah, fuck that shit, man. I'm finna get the robotic. I'm, I'm gonna be you back. Might not hear from me for a couple years. See yo, what I'm saying, weird. bro? No, Tuck is on positive vibes. We had a, everybody had a we had a ride out for him. Everybody showed up. You know what I'm saying? I did, I wasn't able to make it. I'll be honest. But it's like everybody showed love. The biker community, and then like bringing that uplift to him, even if he probably wasn't feeling like that at that time. Like it's just crazy. Like through life, he's like, nah, man. Like I really gotta enjoy this shit. I could not be here right now, honestly. Got smacked by a car, got his whole leg ripped off, and he's still like, fuck it. I'm getting back on that motherfucker. Living it. Living now, life. That's the only thing I can get out of it, bro, because even with my losing my grandma this year. Shout out to Tuck. Shout out to Bike Life, too, bro. Shout out to all the motherfuckers. It's real. It's real. They really enjoy life, bro. You should see documentaries on that shit. Like, you should, you should really watch them, because, like, they don't give a fuck. Cops pull them over. Like, you know what I'm saying? The bike life is... That's one thing for sure, bro. When you go through some shit, <laughs> and bro. And two things for certain. Hop on that motherfucking bike. That's going to cleanse your mind for sure. Go ahead, though. What about you? What gets me excited about life? I mean, bro, to be real, like I take it day by day, right? So what I see this week, how we say it's a level playing field now. Not even now, but like it just, that's what gets me excited. And like when I wake up this morning, is like, dude, anybody can go and get it. You know what I mean? And get it by any means. And no matter what, however you may think of what that may be in your mind, you can do it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying money. I'm not saying, bro, anything. You can do it Mm -hmm. in this life, bro. Fucking gaming nerds went up against a head fund and won. I seen uh, someone in my group. I'm in this little stock group. Shout out Chris who runs it. I might even leave the link for y'all down low to go hop in it. Um... Fucking dude hit on Dogecoin, bro, for 65K this week. 65? In my group, bro. And someone someone around me. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So yep. it was dope to see, like, bro, What's anybody possible? can get it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It, by any means, but we're all here. You have an opportunity. When you wake up in the morning, take advantage of that fucking opportunity. Say that. You know what I mean? They don't waste no fucking time. Me included, because I, I fall victim, bro. I'm not here to talk shit and say, like, I'm perfect. I fall victim every fucking day where it's like, fuck, I, I should just sit back, smoke this blunt, play some COD. Nah, nah, P. Go read that book. You know what I'm saying? Like, we like we tell y'all to go do. You know what I'm saying? Go do, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's do this. I did see one. Like, it's that dude that walks up to the people in the foreign cars. He's like, what do you do for a living? It's like, everybody's like, you're that guy, right? And the dude walked up to a white dude. And the dude, he was like, hey, man, what do you do for a living? A Bentley Moose, Moose, I don't know what the fuck it was. Those shits are cool, bro. I'm not going to lie. I like, I like hearing those stories. Bro, he said, what do you do for a living? He was like, I'm, honestly, I'm sorry. I don't even remember what the individual said he does. But he said it was two different careers. And he said, this is what I do. He was like, he's like, man, so you must be busy all day. You're working all day. He's like, no, I'm usually home by midday. I'm like, damn. But dude was like 50, 60 years old. Older, older white guy that, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. in, that, in a passenger seat, too. So it's like, but what I'm saying to get into that, it's like people don't realize you can do anything in life. I see, I see people that are rich, not even rich. I see people with money. They still go into cans at the park. They still go into cans in people's car. They still not car, trash cans, and they go get that can and turn that can into some money. They go, they don't even need it, but they go keep that so that way they're not spending their money. And for me personally, it's just crazy. Like when you have that individual like him, he's not he's home by midday now at 63 years old. You know what I'm saying? Might still go work on look at his things, but he probably mm-hmm. spent 40 years of really grinding that shit out in a real profession, in a real career, in a real investments for himself in, in a different area. Fuck the man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pay my taxes, but I'm not gonna sit here and just work for a motherfucker for 40 years and just hope for 401k retirement, this and the third. You know, I got people, you know, I tell me and Jonah talk about it all the time. Like when we get out, when you know what I'm saying? When we work, when we get our jobs, we take that money and we put that money into things that like how we can just like move, maneuver with hope, hopefully one day we don't even need this job. You know what I'm saying? As far as blowing smoke, as far as present gift, as far as I don't even want to talk about Jonah's avenues. Like Jonah in, invests into a lot of things that hopefully are going to skyrocket for him throughout this year Bro, in 2021. I see shit at the bottom of this cup. But for me personally, it's just crazy that, you know what I'm saying? Capping on what you just said, it's like people look at life and then maybe sometimes get jaded in the fact that, okay, I really just need to provide. I need to pay these bills. Do that. Nobody's saying don't. But realize that you know at the individual what you want to do. You want to do more? Okay, you know what? Take Go the, and do it. Yeah, take the take the $100. Right, 100%. Talk to an individual. You know what I'm saying? Not. I heard a little thing like even if somebody has a, 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 a straight mindset, business mindset, but they don't have the capital. Go find the individual. If you have that straight business mindset, relay that message to somebody. They might actually give you the 10,000, 5,000, 15,000 to be able to help fund and start up your your new your new topic that you're actually trying to do. 
And it might be a you know a lower rate of capital. It might be two thousand what you're looking for. But go to them with a business perspective. That's what people don't realize. Like a closed mouth don't get fed. What they gonna do? Tell you no. Go try somebody else. And say so, yeah, at the end of the day, they say no. It ain't like they said no. Don't ever fucking do this shit in your life. No, nah, man, they just said no. Fuck that shit. Jay Z went through no every. Jay Z had everybody told Jay Z no. Yeah, went and made his own label, and look at Jay Z now. He's not even really making music like that, bro. That's real. So it's like you can you. It's what you do with your nose, man. It's what you do with them. <laughs> it's what you do with your nose. It's what you do with them. But back to it, bro. Are TV shows getting worse or better now? Well, when I watch Blackish and I watch Black as Fuck and I watch uh or Black AF, Ooh, my bad. And I watch, you know, shows like that, I say they're getting better. I'm starting to see my culture a lot more on TV, man. Other than like uh misrepresentation, I should say. Or forceful representation, I should say. Okay. The people behind the camera nowadays are more people of color. Back in the day, it wasn't like that. And I'm just speaking for me. I like me, that perspective, though. No, from, that's real. Yeah, for me watching the shows that I like. Like I said, I watch like Martin, What's Happening, Good Time. Think This is what I watch, bro. Mm-hmm. I like it's just from, from my culture. Don't get me wrong. I still watch I watch episodes of Modern Family. I still watch fucking, you know, those other type shows. You know what I'm saying? But like for me, it's just cool to see the other transition. Like even Re- Revolt TV. Like we have another black platform out there now. Breakfast Club is on there. You know what I'm saying? It's like even Desus and Mero being on HBO. It's like, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just pretty dope to see a different platform in America now on TV standpoint, other than just BT, Black Entertainment Television. We just had one. But the acting, are we saying the acting is still better than the one? Can we say Will Smith back in Fresh Prince is as good as fucking, I forgot dude in the main role of fucking Black as fuck, but. No, it's definitely not the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a classic for a reason. Like, there's episodes that were, like, uh, no, I'm not going to lie. Even Modern uh, 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 modern Family. No, 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 no. What's the one with um, Steve, Steve Urkel? What's his show? Family Matters. You can't even compare something to that nowadays. Who the fuck going to play Steve that's Urkel? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's back then. So is it I see what you're saying. TV shows getting better or worse now? Quincy, shout out Quincy Jones, man, by the way. But um, I don't, that's a good point, Jay. I'd say they. I have to say they're getting better, but those are classics because they're made. They made a way for Obviously, those. Obviously, I feel like if it's it better be, but quality is getting better. You know what I mean? As in like how how they do how they do movies, how they do things, or TV shows like that. But I think they're just getting corny now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, I agree. Like, like, like I, well, I, I, I could I compare Damn. it to Power to Ghost now. Like Power was hard, and I get it. It was compare that to The Wire. Think of The Wire. You ever watched The Fans Wire? Back Compared then, to Power? The Sopranos. Sopranos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no finger, good. So, finger yeah. tips, man. What? Man, Sopranos back in the what? day compared no. to, um, what's that killing? Even probably, yeah. Probably Power, I guess. I no, well, well, even, well, I know 50 Cent had more reign on Power than he does Ghost now because I, I think it's the old girl that's doing uh, the Ghost series. How do they even call it Ghost, but Ghost not in it? It's son. Uh, all I'm saying is it's corny now. And even, even to the extent of I know I I probably I don't mean to offend nobody. I mean this literally just is my perspective on this shit. But bro, you see, hold on real quick. You see the black shit? Yeah, bro. Did cook? you drink it? Yeah, is that twenty ten? They didn't put the hair on the chest. I guess I'll do it too. Is, but is that twenty ten though? No, this is Dookie. I don't know what this <laughs> is, bro. I don't know what the fuck nah, this is. We're wine connoisseurs, bro. That's twenty ten. We ain't drinking no Dookie. No, nah, what if the what if the real wine connoisseurs are over here? Like, bro, y'all over here drinking ripe bottle. No, nah, it is. I'm just saying, like that shit has ripe, some... ripe. Oh, ripe. Oh, <laughs> got you. Ripe bottle. Got you. Um. Oh, we. Nah, but uh, fuck. What was I just saying? I was saying something. Um. It's the remix to it. What? Nah, I was saying something about the fucking TV shows. Oh, the TV show Fresh Prince of Bel Air is not the same as what it is now, you know. <laughs> oh fuck! Hey, I didn't think about it though, bro. I got to really segue it into something else real quick. When it comes down to, uh, when it comes down to, uh, oh, actually, fuck that shit. I'm gonna ask you: Do you believe YouTube is gonna be the next platform where people actually go through and watch TV for all the time? Like people have all these shows. I watched this one called his name is uh Life 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 of Corey Life of Corey. I'm saying he's a little dude on YouTube that, you know, he does donks. He got the cars. He got, you know what I'm saying? Live his life. Watch it. You see his life. See him grow up. It's just dope. Bro, and, that's fucking free, John. And you're paying for, for cable. Check me out, Jonah. <laughs> I'm trying to say something real quick, man. Nah, but you're right, though. You're right. You're right. Because I will watch that motherfucker's episode for like two hours, bro, and like go to sleep. Like, damn, nigga, you didn't watch no cable today. You just paid pretty much like $12. You didn't even watch it. So 
No, but I'm saying is, do you feel like that's actually going to be a platform? Like people, like you don't realize, like pe- even the little kids, the little kids that watch that one little, the little, the little boy that does all that, rev- those reviews, that the millionaire little boy that's only seven years old. You ever heard of him? So he just re- does reviews on toys and all the little. Bro. Uh, maybe, maybe. Nigga. So what I'm, what I'm getting at is like, if everybody, like me and you, we have a platform, shit, we might start getting out there and we might start going outside and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like if we start doing that type shit, we start doing that. Yeah, I'm trying not to move and hit my mic. <laughs> we start we start doing that type shit. People start doing their life shit. Everybody just doing pretty much living their life like a fresh prince of Bel Air. Somebody might become and do that on, on on YouTube. Could you see that being an actual platform instead of people always going to can you see cable? can you see what's his name again? Corey Life of Corey. Life of Corey being a television show and his and being his own producer and things yes. like that. Yes. Yes. Like on MTV. Yes. Yes, yes. definitely yes. can. But that's on cable. You said MTV. That's on cable. You no, can't. Life of Corey, you, having him as make his own platform for himself. Yes. Yeah, I see that. Like okay. For But that's the thing, though, is like, it's always going to be subscriptions now. It's the new, that's the new thing, right? So that's we, pretty much. So if Life of Corey makes his own show, right? And, and says, fuck that. I know I'm getting paid through my YouTube thing, but I want to make my own platform. I want to make my own website. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He would make his own website and people would subscribe to his his website to watch Life of Corey. Right. And that's how he makes his own MTV. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I do see it. But as that'd like, be better because what do you do? You only watch what you want to watch, true, right? True. So then let me just click this dude's link. Let me watch this guy's link for a month or it's like only a, fans, a day. Bro. For, te- for good content of television. Yeah. Yeah. Damn! Yeah. I didn't even think that's, about that's that. That's the future, bro. That, it's cra- it's crazy to see. Cause who do you like, want to watch? Go look him up on Twitter and go watch the. Oh yeah, who do I want to watch today? All right, let's go over here. Then you go instead yeah. of paying for cable every week. So that's what's scary. Go back to your question of fucking how long is cable gonna last? I don't know. I don't know. Holy shit! I'm just chipping right now, cause bro, I really don't think this shit. Is, I think it's just gonna like the way times is changing, bro. Like. It's on transition or something, and people just not gonna see it. Cause people don't want them cords in the back of their TVs no more. But somebody has to make that platform to where everybody can just upload their content. Somebody, is, I mean, I get it's a website, but somebody has to make that that www dot. This is where you upload all your shit if you want it to be ex- to people to stream your shit. If you want to look like IMDb, if y'all know what that is, but to actually watch people's shit, like that'd be dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck the bullshit. Mm-hmm. I just want to watch. I, uh, uh, give me somebody. I just want to watch Will Smith. That's going to be, that's YouTube. I feel like transitioning like YouTube TV, you know, that's YouTube TV now. Yeah. Like, I feel like they have to figure out to be that. Where can you go to go watch? Guy. Where can you go, go to go watch any movie you want to watch right now? That's the thing is I have to go through each of my streaming platforms to find which one I want. And Prime Video usually have it. I just got to rent it. So. <laughs> You gotta pay for it. Some of them, they have majority, but like, if I want to watch oh, something Amazon newer, Prime. Amazon, yeah, Prime. Amazon Prime, Prime Video. So something like that, somebody needs to create. Y'all hear this shit? Like, if somebody, fuck, I don't give a fuck who listens. Somebody just needs to make that platform that literally has every hard copy on there, so that way people can be like, okay, I want to watch the old Denzel, the old Holly Berry, the old uh, Michael Strahan, the old wait, what? The old, the old fucking uh, anybody, bro. Like, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Michael Strahan? <laughs> He's the football player. Cheers, bro. This shit takes smack. That nigga's in a movie? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Ooh. Red Bland, bro. Yeah, this is this takes a lot. Of <laughs> this is super sweet. Damn, Snoop. Damn, okay. You over here. You sparked the blunt. He said, Jay Jonah. He said, Jay Jonah. What Damn. you doing? Damn, Snoop. Okay. Hey, um... I, I what's your opinion on reality shows, bro? Like loving hip hop and shit, bro. What's your bro? Opinion? I ain't gonna cap. I fucks with them. I just wish they was like more real. Like if you really got beef with a bitch, nigga, fuck it, fuck, fuck the bitch up. Cause I'm talking about like for the female perspective, like them. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I be watching like um with Becky, bro. Like, bro, when when when, when, when when Kim when Kim went and fucking beat the sh- not beat the shit, but slapped the fuck out of Courtney, bro. I was fucking with that shit, bro. Fake. That was dope. That was fake. fake. But she got slapped. That was a real slap. She had slap. You watched it? Yeah. On Reap, right? I was watching that. You watched it Keep It Up with the Kardashians? Keep It Up with Kardashians. With Becky. Bro, I, wa- <laughs> <laughs> hey, I walked in. And I low-key was about to walk into that shit. I low-key was about to walk into that shit. We finna clip that. Bow, Love right it. There. Hey, stop. Fuck that shit. Hey, I watch uh, Love and Hip Hop, nigga. I watch, uh, uh, what's the other ones? Like, uh, Chrisley, Chrisley Knows Best. 
y'all people look at me like, damn, you watch Chrissy No Best? I watch Chrissy No Best. I watch um, what's another reality one that I know I watch heavily, John? Come on now, get the shit out. I don't even know what else. But I be watching reality shows, bro. Orange I, I County. See that? I be watching Orange County with Becky too, bro. These motherfuckers. What the be fuck is money. Orange County? They be have money. They be have money, bro. I be looking like I only damn. know the Love and Hip Hop and the Keeping Up with Kardashians because just because I know them. I don't watch them motherfuckers though. I don't watch them like every day. Like Get the fuck out of here. This nigga, I gotta, I gotta cover this shit up now. I gotta fucking like find a way to cover this shit up. <laughs> nah. For sure. Uh, nah, bro, but, but, but to be real, I would like my take on them, like, bro, I like it's more on your way of like, bro, why they're gonna do it, keep it real. Cause I see it as a Jersey Shore, bro. I used to watch the Jersey Shore when that shit started. I don't even remember Jersey Shore. I used to watch the Flavor Flav. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You like Jersey Shore? I, bro, Snooky? for some reason, me and Pops would always, like, I, I'd turn it on when I got home from school type shit, late night, and Pop would be watching it with me. <laughs> he sees it. But bro, look, what the, but look, but look, but look, but look, but look, but look, to keep going. To Niggas keep going. had a bonding session nah. watching Jersey Shore? <laughs> just, the, just the beginning. This is, like I said, I'm, reality shows piss me off because they got money now. Back, bro, I literally, I put it <laughs> for some Pauly reason. D. Uh, Jersey Shore's on Hulu too, so I had it on the other day while I was while I was cleaning the crib type shit. Just the first episode, I only watched the first episode. I needed some drama in my life. I don't know why, but look, but look, but look. What kind of drama? They was fighting each other. No, no, no. Just to see, no reality shows is drama. Yeah, that's oh, how I see it. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's that's how I see reality shows. Like I can't watch that drama every fucking night. You know what I mean? Like, then why do I want to see someone else's drama when I do in my own problems every fucking day? You sure. know what I mean? But I feel like that's why they win. People want to see other people's problems. Yeah. They want to feel their problems. That's why yeah. reality shows win. Yeah. Okay, but to keep where I'm going, bro, Jersey Shore, the first episode, they they're yeah, they got no money. They got nothing to lose. They're all going on a show and it popped. You know what I mean? They they became famous off of that that first season. So they really they really went in as normal people, quote unquote, not being trained to have the camera time, not being this, not being that. So it was a real reality show. That's how I see, I see reality shows. Now it's like they, they, they're camera trained, bro. Let's be fucking real. You know what I'm saying? They know what the fuck they're doing Fact. on each show, on each episode. And it's it's uh, written to the script. But whereas like the first episode of Jersey Shore, it wasn't. Same as the first episode, I'm sure, of Love and Hip Hop. It wasn't. That's why that shit was like got big too as well. You know what I mean? Fact. Where now to this day, that shit's all scripted. Do you think OnlyFans is going to take out Pornhub? <laughs> I feel like, no, nah, I mean, I, I don't know, but I'm not going to speak on that shit, bro. I don't know. Why? Is it going to take out Pornhub? I feel like Pornhub is his own website alone, so if people go to Pornhub, they're going to make their own. All right, bet. Just wanted to get your opinion on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is either. I'm gonna lie. People still go to Pornhub. What is that? They have X videos. They got Pornhub, y'all. You can go watch the shit on fucking. I, I got all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna cap, man. At the end of the day, bro, technology is a motherfucking. This shit's advanced. It's kind of scary, bro. The way you got the kids growing up, man. Like, it's coming almost advanced for us. Imagine our children's nowadays. For bro. real. They're gonna have classes to where our kids gonna be so advanced. Like, they might be, you know, coders. Like, it might be a whole profession for our kids. Like, this, Dad, I'm actually gonna be a coder. Like this is what it is. Like for me personally, like it's like my kid, my dad looking at me. Like you got a weed sponsor. Back in my time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like back in my time, this isn't something that was actually normal. You got a weed sponsor. Like this is legit. You're gonna talk like old Bruce again. No, I can't do that. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't do that. I ain't do that. But it's just crazy how time changed, bro. Like man, like it's just crazy. But you gotta grow. You gotta grow. Grow with it, man. Grow with it. But Speak. look, before we get out of here. What was your favorite TV show of all time? And we can even say movie too. All time. Favorite TV show and movie. Bow. Damn. My favorite TV show is going to have to be that I could just watch and I've always watched and I will watch. I think it, mm, I think it probably would have to be fucking. Mm, I don't want to fuck up. I don't want to fuck up. Uh, Martin. Martin. Martin's the one? 110. I, bro, I still learn from Martin to this day. It'd be times when I watch a Martin episode, I'm like, bro, this shit is applying to my See? life. See? 
Like it goes back to what I'm saying. Like, you you couldn't relate to that as a kid. No, you can't. No, you know you what couldn't. I'm saying. You watch it now, you appreciate it more. That's why. I, am I what you didn't you even watch all fresh, bro? I'm rewatching them. I'm I'm learning these lessons as an adult now. They was in high school yeah, and know, shit. They was that I was know. our age. They was in, they going, didn't go to college. I'm going back. Oh, they to did it. go to college actually. They did go to college. That, I'm not there that. yet. They're still in high school. Yeah, but well, they're growing. They're getting older. See now, you're getting now. That's another appreciation that you don't really realize. You really gonna you're watching it and seeing it from because you know when you watch it on TV, it's scattered episodes. Yeah. It's never consistent. It's like like it's not one, two, three, four. You're watching that. Well, now that's TV the, now. Never, but Fresh Prince though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not everybody. Reruns, reruns. I don't think anybody can you say that. DVR. Yeah. You remember that shit when it first came out? I think that was when I uh, first started realizing like shit was getting changing when you could pause live TV. Yeah, my grandma, bro, <laughs> bro. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, shout out to my momo. Rest in peace, bro. At the end of the day, my grandma was so trying to like her with her being fifty years old in her fifties. She went and bought a motherfucking DVR and another little thing. She would go through and she. My grandma's over here burning movies and shit like that. Like she, she would low key make uh, uh, bootlegs and then sit, mail it to us. Like, hey, I got the little Looney Tunes. I got the Elmer Fudds. I got like, you know what I'm saying? She yeah, Momo. Send me all that, man. That shit would be dope as hell, bro. But yeah, I remember that. It's just crazy, bro. You gotta move. You gotta roll with it, bro. Even my grandma, fifty some years old, was still over here bootlegging. <laughs> Get with the shit, y'all. Hell yeah. Uh, movie. You got a movie real quick before I answer. My favorite Mine? one. That yep. I could just watch on repeat. Mm-hmm. Pursuit of Happiness. Mm. Every day for the rest of my life. Turn it off. It's on the lobby. It's in the room. Everywhere I turn my head, I'm watching it. I'll you're, watch it. You a black motherfucker. I like Will Smith. I like Martin Lawrence. <laughs> and then they come out with Bad Boys. Oh, oh shit. shit. Man. I'm like, whoa. Uh, and then the third one just pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie to you. Third one. Really? When they, bro, when they killed, nigga, when they killed the fucking, the, oh, the, uh, the, the boss, the boss dude, and he got sniped at the basketball game watching yeah, his daughter. Yeah, that was bad. Nigga, that shit pissed me the fuck off. They did him cold, bro. That they did him bad. cold. But yeah, them niggas. Got you. What you got? As far as your Top TV, TV show. show, like I said, one I was always excited to put on, bro. And to this day, I could watch it. George Lopez, I can't can't lie, that was that was a great TV show. Yeah, uh, shout out Q. What's up, bro? We live, bro. You live on there. What's up, Q? What you got going, man? Hey, everybody, this Q. If y'all can't we see this motherfucker, had the nerve to call me right now. What's, what's up, with Q, man? What's up? I'm finna call you back, bro. Let me call you back. I love <laughs> you, bro. Uh, I, I bet. But fucking George Lopez, bro, that was always one of them ones. Angie, I'm not gonna lie, I had a big crush on Angie. George but, Lopez? Was, that, that she she was my shit, man. Angie that was, was my meal for Even the cats. even the daughter. Chill. Hold on, Becky, I love you, baby. But like it's a TV <laughs> show. But like, bro, come on now. You watched it as a kid. Like, bro, come on now. Like, that's what you watched it for. Guyman. Max, Max be going through some shit. That motherfucker be funny as fuck. Max is like a real airhead. I'm like, damn, Max. But everybody, every time you got one. Oh, shit. The grandma have everybody rolling. No, yeah, grandma's the, the fucking A-list of the show, to be honest. That's how I learned the phrase Staliske. What the fuck is that? Staliske? How you, uh, you know? Don't ask me that. Don't, we're not going there. But I he would say that shit like, every episode, I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, movie? Fuck, bro. I gotta go. I gotta go Marvel. Uh, I don't know. My movie's changing. Of course. I got, my movie's changing the vault like recently because I'm not going to lie. The new Spider-Man, bro, or not even the new Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man of the newest actor. I fuck with him tough, bro. I'm not going to lie. Tobey Maguire? No, he's the he's the first Spider-Man. I'm talking about the newest Spider-Man who was in the Avengers. Oh, the black dude. No. Oh, newer. shit. I forgot bro's name or else I would say it. But no, the first Spider-Man or I could say I got to go back. Ah. Uh, there was a black Spider-Man though. <laughs> Wasn't there? Uh the cartoon. Um anime, just say. I don't know, bro. I gotta say Avengers just in general. I, I fuck with all that shit, bro. I, I can't narrow it down. The right actual way. Avengers movie, because they had an Avengers movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just all of them. I, I can't narrow it down. Yeah, pick one. <sighs> I guess I could have said all Will Smith. <laughs> This guy, wow, top movie on our list. Oh, okay, then let's take you it. like them all that much that you can't pick? Let's take it left. Let's take it left. Your watch, Get the Gringo. With uh, Mel Gibson? Yes. Not all the way. That's my favorite movie. Bro. Seriously? Bro, that's a great fucking movie. Mel Gibson's not the best actor, guys. You don't like you don't like him as an actor? He made Pursuit. I mean, uh, Passion of the Christ, that shit was kind of fucked up. Wow. Remember Passion of the Christ? That was a great fucking movie. Bro. Passion of the Christ was a great movie? Well, it was just, every time Like I the nigga was there, he knew I'd Jesus? Cry. Like this nigga made no, it? No, you can't be mad at him for playing Jesus. Bro, that was a great movie. Best movie from Mel Gibson was Signs. 
Great. I just watched that the other day. I'm so glad he brought that up. Great movie. All right. So get get the gringo. <laughs> get the gringo. Oh, yeah, bro. Get the gringo is when it was definitely a top. Get the gringo. Uh, George Lopez. Fresh Prince. Uh, no, no. Martin. And uh, uh, Pursuit uh, of Happiness. Pursuit of Happiness. Yes, sir. That's, that's a cool little. I got to watch Get the Gringo. I definitely watch George Lopez. It's a good like, movie, I'll watch bro. that for sure. Fuck that movie. I'll check that out. Well, that's it. That's all I got. You know what I'm saying? For my dog today. I hope that's everybody really came through and got a little fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? Something to get them through an hour of their day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if y'all at work, if y'all in the car, wherever y'all at, let us know. But I hope y'all are able to maneuver and get it. You know what I'm saying? Get something from it. Yes, sir. We ain't the most intellectual, inflectual, whatever the word is. But like, <laughs> hey, yeah. follow, like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all know the vibes, man. Sign out this motherfucker. It's your boy, JG. And you already know it's Jay Jonah. Y'all know the vibes. It's blowing smoke. Yes, sir.